Hello and welcome to another MF2 tutorial. As you can probably tell, we no longer have a gun, we have a sword. And since it is a sword, we have a... means we have melee attacks. So let's add the group. As with the gun, if we make it so that it's lined up with his hand, and let's make sure I remember how to do this. Go. Direct of zero. Oh, come on. What did I do wrong? It's supposed to be like this. There we go. And with that, it basically means. Oops. I should have canceled his movement. Well, it means that my sword will move with me. I can jump, I can turn around all I want, so I can turn around with me. And move him down here and take away his movement. I should have time later to show why I had that. Okay. And since a sword is no good just sitting there, unless it's just for looks, we're going to make it so it swings. And just to show that all, this simple sword, hot spots at the handle, this simple animation. That it's just different angles of the same sword. So, now let's make this useful. Like if it collides with the group enemy. And to make sure it doesn't kill the enemy when it's just sitting there. We want it to only be doing that when the animation is playing. Or the group enemy and destroy. And that should cover it for that. The swings. Stand over the guy with my sword and does nothing. Swing my sword and he dies. So, when it comes to melee, that is done. Now, the reason why this guy here was moving is going to set that back up. <clears throat> I wanted to start moving left, otherwise, he'll move off screen. And speed 60 is too fast, so putting him down to 20. And, as you saw, moving at start means when you start this frame, the guy will start moving. So, that is all set up. I got it all the way back down. And the big secret is AI. It's not smart AI, as in this guy will start shooting at me. But... It is good. It's decent AI numbers. I'm going to use the group instead of just the guy himself because I want to add more enemies. So, overlap, or not overlapping a backdrop. 
then y coordinate will be the y coordinate plus one, which means that if he's not on ground or platform or something that he will stand on, he's going to fall. And since we want it to be a slow fall, well, somewhat slow fall over time, we paste this five times. It means he falls uh, five pixels for every loop it does in this code. And the reason why we do that is he'll fall one pixel at a time. And it would just look like a clean fall. And when he is overlapping a backdrop, we set the y coordinate to not that guy, this one. Set y coordinate to minus one. This way. No, I wasn't supposed to do that. Oops. Uh, but this way, it will look like he's just. Uh, It looked like he's just uh, standing there, but he's actually going one pixel down and up so fast that the human eye won't actually be able to catch it. And there's no collision, overlapping a back backdrop. Basically, this part is for if he runs into a wall. Do this do direction of group that enemy. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's in purple. Okay. Then plus no, do it on here. Plus sixty. Basically means to go. If he bumps to a wall on his left, he will turn right. What? What is my syntax here? Is it that? Oh, come on. It worked before. Now, oh, here's group enemies. I guess it didn't turn purple. And a uh, little thing I found out, if you don't do just one action, you will basically climb the wall by flipping back and forth very quickly. And uh, in case you have more than one enemy, you can add... So you do this in practice. Oopsie. Well, I'm pretty sure you can do collision with another enemy and basically that thing again. So with that said, let's clone this guy and make two of him. Move him down over here. And let's test. Yeah, yeah, see, they will bump, turn around, basically they are green turtles, or Goombas, or <clears throat> so I don't know anyone besides uh, Mario enemies that use there, basically it's kind of a dumb AI, you know, walk straight until he bumps into something. So, 
as long as you want a moving AI that doesn't do anything else, then that's what you got here. And with that done, this is the end of the video.